Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today we're looking at a brand new home to the Nexus. And this one was recommended to me by Valhalla Shelf, one of my kind viewers. It's called Thervonen and it's by Chris in Excess and Thur Team. So um, if you've got Maple Manor installed, this is like literally right behind it. If you don't, then I'll show you where we are on the map. Here's your fast travel point. You've got to find it first. And um, yeah, that's it. So we're going into a cave. It's quite magical. But before we do, just looking around the outside, you've got these zip lines, which <laughs> go down the mountain. They're a lot of fun. Oh, my God. Kind of reminds me of, was it Laboratorium that had the gondola? Um, so yeah, as you can see, the zip line goes way, way, way down. Don't think you can tr travel back up the same way. Uh, that's a negative. Okay, so we'll just fast travel back up. Wow, look at that picture right there. Okay, so this is a massive place with a bunch of features. I've turned off the music because there are songs from all over the place uh, included in this and I don't want to get a, a copyright strike. By the way, look at my little dudes. There are three of these perfectly fuzzy little creatures around and about. I don't know if they're like guardians or something, but I'll take them. You know me and cats. Okay, so here's the entrance. I probably should say an entrance actually because there there are others I believe although this is the only one I found I'll close that behind okay all right this place is lovely and just to let you know I've only stuck my nose in here very briefly this is going to be a super quick overview of this just so that you can see if you, it's something that you're interested in and you want to download for yourself. It's clicky heaven. There are so many interactive features, it's unreal. There are also, when you come down here into this passageway, there are also several doors into the place. Um, so there's one. If you turn around, there's a couple more at least. Uh, and then there's this. Oh my god, look at the colour though, isn't it gorge? Absolutely love this. Really pretty. And fish and whatnot. So this, whoa, for the weather. So this takes you out to a kind of a viewing platform, I guess. Although you can use it to zip down. <laughs> oh god, that's so much fun. Love that. All right. It comes with a bunch of features as well, this place. So things like you get extra powers. I haven't discovered these yet, so I'll leave that to you to do. Let's find a door. Doesn't matter which one. Oh my God. Am I going back out? Oh, passageways though. Hideous nightmare for me. Here we go. Okay, let's see where this has brought us in. Oh my god, why is my mount coming with me? What the hell? Super annoying. Okay, that is very pretty. Oh, those lanterns with the stained glass. Shrines and stones, very handy. This is just, wow, look at it, beautiful. This is so up my alley. Cooking spits, beautiful decoration. Oh my god, I have a throne up there. Oh my goodness, do you know what? This reminds me of Modder's Manor. And um, that's equally spectacular in its uh, colour and decoration. Oh, lovely. Okay, so odd, but <laughs> you know, with the uh, indoor sky, it's like we've come into another realm. But yeah, I'll take it. That is stunning. Okay. Oh, is that another door out? I, I think so. Okay. 
enchanting. I hadn't actually found this little nook before now. Advance to chest chamber. Oh, how about that? Okay, so I had seen this, but I didn't realise that you could get to it via a button. Look at all that. That's mental, isn't it? Wow. Okay, just checking. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was going to be one of those where it's got every item in the game just sat there. Trap door and ladder. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can turn your candles on and off. It's going to put the ladder back. Ooh, look at this room. I feel like I'm going off track. This is kind of odd, isn't it? Having a punching bag in the middle of the room. Is it? <laughs> Sleep on the sofa, sit cross-legged on the sofa, or just plain sit on it. By the way, there are literally... Oh my god, I don't even know how many... Um, interactive things where... <clears throat> excuse me, where you can stand in poses and uh, so forth. Okay, this isn't just any old loo. <laughs> All right, I like it. Wow. Look at that, three broken pipes. That is very cool. I'm sorry about my voice this morning. I seem to be really croaky for some reason. All right, let's carry on with where we were. Can I even get back to where we were? Okay. Crafting table area. I think that's where we came from, wasn't it? How handy that you can, yeah, you can just zip from one to the other. That's amazing. A staff enchanter, beautiful. And alchemy. Ooh. To my favoured student, may this small gift aid you in your endeavours. How cute. How lovely. Great book of cooking, revision one. Oh, look at all this, though. Crafting station MGEF. What on earth is that? I don't know. Let's just nip back to that chest chamber because I want to know what the build area is. Oh, I see. Your forge. Nice. Good lord. I don't know how this is going to translate on video because I feel like, I mean, when you're in here, the lighting is absolutely beautiful. But for some reason, it always comes out slightly darker. Okay, so this is nice. Very nice. So it's all kind of connected. You didn't really need a, <laughs> a little fast travel button, did you? All right, let's head back up here. Love climbing up the rope ladder, that is awesome. Oh yeah, this area. So, I have seen this already. Um, and it's a little bit odd if you ask me. <laughs> but we'll, you know, depends on your taste, I guess. I love the colours and the way it's all set out. Climb up the rope back up to where we just were. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. But it seems to be some kind of weird torture device. So I can bring the cages down. Uh, barbecue the vermin, feed my children, exit without action. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what this is about, except that <laughs> the digestion system. Set max amount of corpses preserved before Doom Lagoon fully devours them. Yeah, I don't know. It could be fun. 
There's also a couple of standing points here. <laughs> you can, you know, be the audience. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just... Mm, let's see what happens. Just let's see. Oh, nothing? And oh my god, I see. So they've been dropped out of the cave uh, cage and uh into the into the deep. So are there like piranhas in there or something? Wow. Oh yeah, look! Oh my god, that's evil. <laughs> well, uh, you can have some fun with that. I'm not sure it's a part of the home that I'll probably ever come to again. But that's because I'm a big softy. Okay, detainment teleport. Prisoner corp system initialized. What is this system? A framework uh, handling corpse count amounts before dead are consumed by a lagoon. The digestion process fires each sanctum exit if defined. What? Oh, I have no idea what that is about but hey okay let's move on because there's a lot to, to look at here and i don't want to get hung up on one aspect of it okay let's move on huh. interesting definitely didn't know this was here either it looks like it should open doesn't it And indeed it does. Oh, look. What is this? Followers' quarters? I think. Lay, relax, and gaze at the stars. Wow, that is... That is nice. I think it's perma-dark in here, by the way. It's not... Um, it's never daylight, you know? Drink from the mead barrel. Turn your candles on and off. There are hundreds of those. There are also a ton of soils in here as well, I noticed, um, which is perfect for me. Yeah, there could be a dozen clickies in here that uh, I would never know about, honestly. You've really got to inspect the whole thing. Okay, this is neat see what else we find oh wow okay so our bedroom turning on the candles makes such a big difference as you might expect beautiful room isn't it sleep in the doverkin's bed okay so you can take a break and sit down or you can sleep, gaze at the stars. There's that dragon again. Solid bunker. Oh my god, kids' room. Solid bunker is the kids' room. Interesting. Look at the deco, though. How nice. Oh, cute. They've got their own little bath. Does this work? Yes. Add more hot bath water to... Oh, my God. All right. That is lovely. Wow, that's a creepy doll. <laughs> oh, and you can sit on the bunk beds. I might be a bit big for that. I'm not sure. Okay, so the kids' room is directly below yours. And it's it's really lovely, beautifully decorated. Okay, carrying on. Wow, there are going to be bits of this that, you know, you're going to have to investigate really thoroughly. How are we looking? Okay, so change your appearance mirror. Need... Workstation bookcase zero two. 
How many of these are there? Oh, look. I'm sure I read on the mod description uh, that you could... I think it said that there were all of the books or 300 odd books throughout this place. Check this out. And yeah, storage for special items that you find in the world also scattered all about the place. So as you can see, Jagged Crown there. Perform paperwork duties. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, I've gone upside down. What the hell? Oh, that's freaky. I'm not sure it was meant to do that. All right, let's not perform paperwork duties. Compare <laughs> numbers to business ledger. Check me out. Working. Nice. All right, well, oh my god, you get the, you get the gist, eh? You could be in here for a long time. So many bookcases, love that. Okay, so now we're back to this storage area. And sitting room, and here's the soils. How lovely. I shall be availing myself of those, and this is a home that I will definitely be keeping and exploring, uh, because this is so lovely. <laughs> uh, funny. All right. Let's see where we end up next. Okay, so I think this is general storage here. Some mannequins as a disenchanter. And storage floor clutter. <laughs> wow. So much. Am I done with this floor? I honestly I don't know. See if we can find the throne room. Oh, advanced to archery target. Okay. Oh, wait. Is this the other end of the hallway that we were just in? Advanced to archery practice post. Okay, that's dead lazy, that, isn't it? You could just walk. <laughs> Okay, there's a ton of weapon racks adorning the walls there. Oh, look, stand strong. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's so funny. All right, I'm standing strong. Oh, here we go. Here's the throne. Look at these. Aren't they nice? Somewhere for your nightingale and your zephyr, none of which I've got yet in this playthrough. Wathrad, your masks, behind that looks like claws, wow. Mercer's plans, holy crap, you can fit so much here. Oh, and it's so imaginatively done. Okay. Again with the candles. I am divine. <laughs> Yes, yes, I am. Look at me. <laughs> Worship me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm hearing whispering. I am dragonborn. Oh, okay. So I am divine and I am dragonborn are the same thing. All right. Hey, okay, I can definitely hear whispering. Humble yourself. Colossal jewel making sounds. What? Upon touch, raw force channels through your very being, a mirage of distorted hymns emanating from within the jewel sound more and more like voices whispering words. Shortly after the World Eaters return, mountains rumbled, violently shaking the sanctum, something awful. <laughs> the quake strength is... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the quake strength detached them. <laughs> Min of Thur, aka the Eye of Thur Vonun, from its home socket. This jewel is no ordinary jewel, but the Sanctum's watchful eye. It's to be placed somewhere on the throne. Okay. I'm sorry, there's something awful just got me. Got me bad. 
Okay, Min of Thur, Pathfinder's Mirad LP added. Ugh, knowing your blah 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 blah. Okay, so uh, Min of Thur explicitly grants you a new unlock special power. All right, thanks. I know that there are some in this place, but I'm not, I don't know what they are. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, I can hear like blood rushing through veins and weird weird sounds i don't know if that's coming across on the video or not but um yeah it's kind of fun all right <laughs> oh dear onwards what have we got here more storage more soils ton of them okay yeah it also comes with auto sorting in fact there are a whole bunch of features that i haven't mentioned yet that um i really should so here's an information perfect exactly what we needed so if you don't want to see that you can get rid of it by using that toggle but here is your information on auto sorting any bugs rope traveling um pathfinders mirad note okay that's what we've just picked up isn't it so what does it say about that oh my god it's a book uh okay all right well i'll let you read it you can pause the video to read it if you'd like to in the meantime we must move on because there is so much involved here and i feel like i haven't covered all of it at all yet in fact i'm not even going to do you know what i'm not going to because there is a ton of features with this place i don't even know what my favorite part is that i've found so far we've got kids we've got followers we've got all of the crafting we've got zip lines new powers clickies everywhere it's stunning really okay well i'm gonna leave it here because um yeah there's there's a vast amount to discuss a lot to look at do let me know what you think about it I'll leave you with that fantastic view. I'm certainly going to keep it. And when I do start playing Skyrim again, this is the first place that I'm going to be headed for. So take care, stay safe. Let me know what you think. And I will see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Just said that. <laughs>